So Apple has just wrapped up the keynote and all I can say is that they they did some interesting stuff. If you love Apple, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. So a lot of people are really confused on everything that Apple has released because on the keynote, like Apple is just releasing stuff everywhere, like a streaming service for this, a streaming service for this, a streaming service for it was, it was kind of confusing. So I'm gonna try and break down everything for you like this, you understand everything perfectly. Starting everything off with Apple News Plus. So if you're a fan of magazines, you are going to love Apple News Plus. I personally love magazines and I always buy like three or four magazines every single month. So in my opinion, Apple News Plus is amazing because you're going to have unlimited, I mean not unlimited, you're going to have over 300 magazines unlimited with a subscription service. So if you like magazines, it's going to be really, really worth it for you. The best thing about this is that the actual articles inside of the magazines have been completely redesigned. So the articles look absolutely stunning. There's live magazine covers and there's also some newspapers such as the Wall Street Journal. It's priced at a $10 subscription. So I mean, if you're going to take advantage of this, this is definitely going to be worth it. If you plan on reading just one or two every single month, I don't recommend Apple News Plus and I simply recommend subscribing to the one or two magazine that you actually like. So if you're not a huge fan of magazines, do not subscribe to this. If you are, definitely subscribe. So if you're a gamer, you're absolutely going to love Apple Arcade. Apple Arcade is Apple's brand new streaming service for the gamers. Wait, what? You have to pay to pay games? Like, what is this all about? Well, these aren't normal games. These are actually groundbreaking exclusive games made for Apple, made exclusively for Apple Arcade. These are actually hardcore games. These are actually games that take advantage of the iPad Pro, for example. They're going to take the full advantage graphic-wise, performance-wise of the iPad Pro. There are beautiful games. I mean, Apple teased us with a couple games and they honestly look awesome. A couple things to notice about Apple Arcade is that there are no ads, no in-app purchases. You can play the games offline so you won't actually need a Wi-Fi network or a 3G network to play the actual games. You can actually jump from your iPhone, iPad, Mac, and Apple TV so all the games will actually be able, they will all be able to play on all the platforms. So you will actually be able to play them on the Mac. The Mac barely gets any awesome games, so it's really awesome to actually have cool games you can play anywhere. iPhone, iPad, Mac, good stuff. Games such as Enter the Construct, uh, Kings of the Castle, Reaper, I mean, there are so many games that I wanna play and I'm so excited, so excited for Apple Arcade. So excited. And Apple's last streaming service is focused on film. It's called Apple TV Plus, and it's not technically trying to compete with Netflix, which even though they're both trying to sell you a movie subscription service, Apple's kind of taking a different route because on Netflix, for example, you're going to have so much content you can watch. On this case, like in Apple TV Plus, you're not going to have like the the most content you can. Like Netflix focus is that like there's thousands and thousands of content. On Apple's case, there's going to be around 10, 15, 20 shows slash movies slash documentaries from the people that you all love. I'm going to talk about that in just a second. But Apple's focus is storytelling. Apple's focus is every single movie slash show slash whatever it is, it's going to be good. The storytelling is going to be strong. I mean, I can't wait. Apple's really hyping this up, so hopefully the Apple meets the hype that everybody has, at least me, from this streaming service. Um, it's going to be good. It's going to be really good. And as I said, the epicest thing that Apple is actually putting in Apple TV Plus are the actual creators. I mean, Apple has hired stars like Steven Spielberg, Jennifer Aniston, Steve Carl, JJ Abrams, Sarah Bareilles, and freaking Oprah. Yes, Apple has actually hired Oprah for their streaming service. So Apple's not playing around in the streaming service. We don't know the price. We don't know the exact date when the streaming service is actually going to come. I mean, Steven Spielberg. <laughs> what could go wrong with Steven Spielberg? <sighs> so those are the three streaming services that Apple has released today. Apple has also launched Apple Card, which I want to make a whole separate video on Apple Card. So let me know in the comments down below if you guys are excited for that video. Let me know in the comments down below as well. Are you guys going to get any of these services? Do you guys think they suck? Do you guys think they're amazing? If you think they suck, sit back, relax, and look at the creatives that Apple has actually hired for the streaming service. Think back, relax, think back, relax, do that a couple times, maybe take a drink, maybe relax again. And just look at Apple's website again. Steven Spielberg, baby!